smells like British excellence. Are we recording? Yeah. Oh, what's up? So, <laughs> yo, what's up everybody? And welcome back to a brand new video, obviously. Well, it's brand new right now. It won't be tomorrow. It, it, it'll be a day old. You join me down at Mantis Cars today, and they are allowing us to get up close and personal with this. We are here today with this TVR cigar. It's finished in this absolutely incredible pearlescent orange. We've probably got the best weather Britain can offer today to demonstrate this because the paint is moving like an ocean as we walk around. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, these were produced between 2005 and 2006, made in Blackpool of all places. Probably the best looking car to ever come out of Blackpool, I'd like to think. It's one of my favourite favorite things to probably be produced by Britain along with tea. I think we did make tea, didn't we? We're famous for it, so we'll claim it. So we've got this absolutely incredible car just here and they have some pretty insane stories because TVR are so typically British. It's, it's wonderful and I, they have a special place in my heart because of this. So we'll start off with the full fiberglass body over a tubular steel chassis. So the car has a four litre straight six producing 406 brake horsepower and nearly 350 foot pounds of torque. Oh, she's gone move. This thing is absolutely incredible. One of my favorite things, my favorite things about this is at the time of producing these, there was like a global agreement that all new cars would come with ABS, but TVR have that British mentality of I'm not being told what to do, so this car didn't come with ABS. They were just like, no, it could, uh, br br it could allow people to get overconfident in the car and then potentially have more accidents because the cars are so lethal. And I think that is wonderful. So there's no traction control, no ABS, nothing. It is a driver's car of the highest form. Now, if you want to come over here with me, I'm going to show you probably the coolest door handle on a production car from, from this era. You ready for this? Oh. <laughs> How cool is that? And then this opens up and takes you into this cockpit and it does feel like a cockpit. It isn't, there is not a whole lot of space in here. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Let's wander around and look at the rest of this design. Now something I noticed while we were wandering around this car is that the driver's side is higher than the other side. As you can see here, there is a, a lip. Now I assume that means they've put it there for a helmet. So you can take this car out and beast it on track if you want to. As we come around the back, we have probably my favourite thing of this whole car, which is this Perspex rear spoiler. It looks so cool. It's just, oh my god, this car is just like one of the dream cars from my teens. So like, was I a teenager when this came out? Yeah, teens. So this is like absolutely unbelievable. The back end design is once again just as aggressive as the front. They haven't let up at all on this. We've got the design down here on the lights that wrap around the body and these side exit exhaust on either side. Absolutely fantastic. So as we come back round the front here, I'm sorry, as we walk past it, I just have to do it again. It's just the coolest thing ever. The fact that that come on a factory car, this should be on a Citroen Saxo from Max Power Area, don't you think? So cool. Anyway, so they have these, what look like vents in the front bonnet here. Now on the prototype of this, they actually were vents and they were gonna be used as part of the design of the car. But these front wheels were chucking so many stones up at the windscreen, causing damage to the car, that the, the Russian owner of the company said, we can't sell a car like this, which was very anti-TVR because they didn't normally care. And they actually filled it all in to make the driving experience that much better. And I have to say, I really like the filled in slash looks. It looks like it's been hacked up by some crazy British fool. And I love that. Come around the front with these ridiculously aggressive front lights. They look like it'd be like the baddie car out of a movie, doesn't it? And we've got huge vents down here and little carnards. Would you call them carnards? Winglets down here as part of the front bumper itself. I have to say, this colour combo, the pearlescent orange with these dark gunmetal grey wheels and the big four pot TVR calipers look fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And something that surprises me is that they were fitted with T1Rs from factory. They've got TVR printed on the tyre. So that is a, um, a 2005, 2006 vibe. I can't see that happening nowadays. But yeah, there we have it. Uh, what an amazing car. And we also have this insane bonnet. 
which is like two piece. So this center section can come out and so can this other side come off as well. So we'll try and do that shortly, but I'm not gonna be doing that because I don't wanna break this car. So should we check out the insides there? I'm probably gonna do that about 400 times throughout this video because that is the most enjoyable door pop ever. Let me hop in this uh, cockpit, even though I'm only 5'8", but it is quite hard for me to get in still. So I can't imagine what it'd be like if you were Ow. Oh, right, okay, cool, we're in. My initial impressions of this cockpit is, oh my goodness me, it's tight. <laughs> Pedals were all slightly off-center to the right this time in compared to the Lancia that was also offset to the right, but on the left-hand side of the car. So that's a bit bizarre that it's a, it's a different type of driving position than I've ever experienced before. But until I've actually had a go, who am I to comment? It might feel great. Uh, I really like the aluminium, I think they're aluminium stalks on the, on the car and all around inside the dash. It's all that silver alley style. Another thing I've noticed with this thing is that even though it is a sports car and there really isn't that much to it, the decor of the car is quite nice. So you'll see on the front here, it's leather with orange stitching. You've got the black leather seats with the suede orange in the middle and they are really comfortable seats, like way more comfortable than I assumed they were gonna be. To get out of the car though, now this is the most weird thing I've ever done because I sat in it while it was in their showroom and uh, Ant, one of the owners of the company, was on the phone, so I didn't want to be rude and interrupt him. And I was sat in here like, I don't know how to get out. I, d I was like, I can't work it out. So I pressed this button. Look at that. <laughs> how cool is that? Can I do that again? Just to show you. You ready? <laughs> That's just so good. <laughs> why, why don't cars come with quirks like this now? I also love that it just comes with a basic racing steering wheel. I love that it is probably one of the rawest driver's cars I've ever sat in. I always thought the S2000s were pretty good for stuff like this, having everything centered around the driver. But this is, the, this is to a whole new level. Everything's just here. Like everything is here in one position. It's simple, gear knob, handbrake, radio, the door. I don't know what these other buttons do just yet, but we might find out shortly. Yeah, and then I think this is like, I don't really know what's in here, but it's a pocket with a, with yeah, it's just a pocket for stuff. So that's kind of cool. Another amazing thing about this car, obviously TVR put, put no driver rates on this, but if you look above me and around me, you'll see it's got a built-in roll cage that goes all the way around here, and then down and down into the pivot points there above the wheel arch, and I, Adore that. I think that's so cool and these exposed brackets for the for the boot or what, what do Americans call it? The trunk. You've got it here. So that is absolutely stunning. They're like works of art. It's it's absolutely amazing in here for such a basic interior. We could get in any of the other cars they have here, the German stuff, and they'd have every gadget in the world. But I'd take this every single day. Basic driver car. Another really interesting thing I want to show you. Zach's going to have to come around this side. Okay, so as you can see, down here, the pedals are floor mounted and not hanging like they are on a lot of other cars. So as you can see, I'm pressing down there. They float like that. I think that's really interesting. Looking forward to seeing how that is to drive. Other than that, super basic car. Super expensive car now. These sold for £50,000 new, and this one's up to ninety. Now that is some investment. Uh, I won't be having anybody tell me not buying random wild looking cars is a bad investment in the future. Unless they are a terrible investment. But this one's a good one, so we've learned that lesson. TVR, good investment apparently. We'll see. Another really cool thing, I mentioned the orange suede on the seats. is a theme carried throughout the car, so here on the stalks you have the orange suede. You can just see just here and up on the roof, either side, everywhere, all around the side carpets is all the same orange suede. So it's a real nice place to be. Like I said, although it's very driver focused, very, we are about the how the car drives and handles, which I want to get to in one second too, you have a little bit of a home comfort with the suede everywhere. I mean, not that I've got any suede in my house, but you know what I mean. It's, it's a comfortable place to be. Nice thick mats for your shoes. Yeah, lovely. And oh, also you've got carpet all around the, the tunnel here too. So it makes it feel warm. It's nice, comfortable, even though it is a enclosed, very enclosed, low space.
right, it's at 60. So what we've done is we got told that we had to wait until the oil temperature was up to 60 degrees before we hoon it. Uh, I'm not gonna hoon it because I'm absolutely terrified of how expensive this car is. Clutch feels fine, initial impressions. Oh my God, how cool is this thing, man? Oh, it smells so good as well. Thing I've ever 
scene. Oh, honestly, it's beautiful. Driving a TBR cigar, it's like, I cannot believe this. Into my hometown. <laughs> Pretend it's mine for the next hour. If anybody asks, yeah, man, I bought it for my YouTube money. My whole 13 quid I'm gonna get this month. I love how this gearbox feels as well. Yeah. Proper mechanical feel to it. <laughs> Can you hear that, man? Oh, this is so good. Do you not feel so cool right now? I just feel so cool. Right, there's a bridge here, and the boss man is behind me, but I'm sure he won't mind. I hope. He's coming up next to us. This is an experience, man. Oh, it feels so good. I, I truly wish I could take this out on a track day or just round some back lanes that I know really well. It's just going around these roundabouts, around these sharp turns in Colchester. It feels so alive in the steering. That noise coming out of these side exit exhausts. Oh my goodness me. Give me a real, real driving sensation. It feels fantastic. Oh, this sounds so good. Wait. This is a bit of me, this. This is a proper, yeah, of it is. proper bit of me, this car. It's loud. It definitely breaks down. Bright, it's obnoxious bright colour. Yeah. Oh. It can be more you can try. It's so good. I love that it's got a built in roll cage. If I sell the M3, the Sylvia, the Civic, and remortgage my house, I might be able to buy one. <laughs> oh, it's just so cool. This is the coolest car I've ever seen in my life. I'm having a moment. Zach, I'm having an actual moment. Well, that girl looks, so there's one girl that looks. Neutral, give it a rev. TVR. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? It's for sale. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> oh, I love it. I want one so bad. What an experience that was. All right, let's get out. <laughs> oh my God, this is the best day ever. Back. What's the retail on one of those? Steering on point, clutch amazing, the seat super comfortable, driving position excellent, interior a lovely place to be, it's easy to drive around town and I love the dashboard even though it's super basic, it is from 2005-2006, it's just wonderful and we're about to go under this bridge, if we can get under this, ready? <laughs> Like myself, go give them some love, go give them a like on the photo of this car on their Instagram. 
And yeah, I just have to say thank you so much to Mantis. Let's head back there now before I use all of this fuel in this car. Wow, it is superb. <laughs> oh, have I got anything bad to say about it? The turning circle is terrible, but who cares? The fuel economy is probably terrible, but who cares? I don't actually have a bad word to say about this car. I like the bad turning circle. I think it's cool, it's quirky, it's British, it's awkward, it's perfect. This is the best car ever. This is an English gem! Sound on. Yep. Sound. <laughs> I'm so sad that I have to give this car back. I have a new dream car, and it's this. And I will get one one day. That might might be when I'm 50 or 60, so don't hold your breath. But I uh, I have absolutely fallen in love with this thing. It has it drives so easy. For I honestly thought this was going to be a pig. I, I thought this is going to be an absolute pig of a car, but. It's easy. It, it's super easy to drive. It's fast. It's loud. It's obnoxious, and it's English with Russian money. But we don't. We won't mention that last bit. And I adore it. And I can't thank Mantis Cars enough. So if you can go give them some love on their Instagram for allowing me opportunities like this, they're one of the few companies that keep me running with all these reviews and feature videos. So I can't thank them guys enough. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know down below. What would you like to see me drive next? Mantis have an amazing amount of stocks. So head over to their website, pick a car and let me know. Sorry, the Lamborghini Diablo. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, see what we can come up with. But for now, I have to go give these keys back. I don't want to. Until next time. Thank you for watching, guys. Please hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.